Hey, how's it going? Landon here, Lano 27 Tech. Just take a second to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you haven't done that already. In my hands here, I've got a Google Wi-Fi single access point system. So I've done a number of videos on this before. You can take a look in the cards, you'll see them. And I've done full setups, uh, I've done, I've done follow-up videos, I've done full tests because uh, originally I got this system to replace uh, a Netgear router that I had and I was using Wi-Fi extenders and I didn't find they worked very well. So this is using the mesh system. So basically I've got three of these and this is gonna be a fourth that I'm adding to my, my system. A mesh, it's quite the mesh. Anyways, go watch those videos. You can see all about it. What this video is a focus on is if you already had a system set up and you wanted to add another access point. So I'm adding a fourth and um, maybe you're in the situation where you need to add a second or a third, and I'm adding a fourth to extend the range into a certain part of my house. It's not that I have bad reception. I won't really go into the details of exactly what I'm trying to do. The main point of this video is to just show how easy it is if you want to buy another one. So this is the first generation, and when I was looking at extending it, I was looking at the newer models that are modeled, or sorry, that are branded with the Nest name, and you can use those. And that also made me discover that there's actually two different types. There's the, the router, the three access points I have are actually routers. Um, they also sell just the access point that doesn't have the router capability. So basically what the router is doing is taking your connection from your ISP. So in my case, it's coming in through uh, Rogers internet into a modem and going into one of the routers and then it's creating a mesh system between the other, the other two routers. So three total, now I'll have four. This is sounding really confusing and really what I just want to focus on is showing the setup if you have a pre-existing connection and you want to add one. Why didn't I get the Nest system? It is uh, it is an improvement over the existing one. It's supposed to have better range and better quality, better speed. You know, All the newer things you're supposed to get with better, newer, upgraded hardware. I didn't feel a need for it. This one is a lower price and you can still find them. So this is the, uh, the Wi-Fi system by Google, single access point, one Wi-Fi point best for smaller homes, 500 to 1500 square feet. So you saw the uh, the intro there, you see exactly what you get with it. You get the power supply, you get an ethernet cable. And uh, in my case, I don't even need the ethernet cable. This is basically just getting power, it can be plugged in and it's gonna connect to my existing Wi-Fi. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. All right, traveling to the deep, dark dungeons of my basement. I'm just in a far corner in my basement that's pretty far away from the, uh, the initial router that's coming in with the ISP connected. So all I'm doing is connecting the power supply here and that's it, it's one, one connection. I don't have to use any of these ethernet cables here and it did come with one that I mentioned. So plug it in, you get your Google Wi-Fi app. You can see here I've got the three Wi-Fi points already. You can see I've got a crazy number of devices, 33. And now what we're doing here is adding a new Wi-Fi point. So you go into the settings button and then down at the very bottom of the screen, add Wi-Fi point. So now it's telling me what to actually do with it, but I've already done that. It's saying to uh, plug it into a power connection and then say where it's located and then you can label it. So in this case, my other one is called basement. So I'm calling this label, blah, oh, nope, label back. There we go. Just meaning the back of my basement. So it's now looking for it. Now it's been, few months since I installed the initial three pack of access points. I don't recall doing this step, the QR code. I think you have the option of typing in the code or taking a photo on the base and there's a sticker that's got a QR code. It's like a serial number. See here it didn't even line up but it found it. Pretty cool. And it automatically detects the device and then it adds it to your network basically. And this whole process in real time took approximately 10 minutes and they do give you like a countdown because there is a point here where it's not new hardware and when you buy stuff that isn't brand new there's generally going to be some kind of updates that are required and that's the case in this case here it's got to do some kind of download and I'm just fast forwarding here a little bit I like that it you think you're almost done you're doing a test for the Wi-Fi and then it discovers oh hey you know what you don't have the most up-to-date current stuff so I'm gonna grab that for you right now and then it goes ahead and tells you it's going to take six to ten minutes and it was pretty accurate it actually did take that long so i won't bore you with that because really you, all you do is you look at this blue screen and it's got a 
a timer telling you. So while we're waiting for it, I thought I'd show you some of my vintage collection of video games. We got Mortal Kombat 2 here for Super Nintendo. Uh, what else do I got here? Oh, let's check check back here. Oh, it's gonna power down and restart. And at this point, when it powers down and restarts, oh, one sec here, we got Super Mario Brothers for the original Nintendo. What else I got here? Narc, do you remember that game? The arcade version was pretty good. The Nintendo version was okay, I guess. And uh, what we got here? Genesis, Vector Man. I know this is totally trailing off from the point. Oh, hey, Sonic 2. Okay. If you like, guys would like to see video game stuff on this channel, let me know in the comments. All right, it's downloading the latest update still. I know there's a point here, and I'm going to make a joke about it because the actual system gets re restarted, it gets rebooted. Not just this single point, but the whole, the whole network. So the whole mesh network goes down. And I knew it went down because everybody in my house came looking for me. Like, the sky was falling because the internet was down for two minutes or three minutes, whatever it took. And I thought that was pretty funny. So here we go, still waiting for it. And about two minutes left, like it's saying. And this is the point where restarting Google Wi-Fi, and you can see it actually kills the power. And it must do it on the whole system because it did for sure. And then it comes back up. This whole process didn't take very long as well. It's almost, it's almost real time. I'm just cutting out a few little chunks here because it's just nothing interesting to watch. But you want to hear me talk, right? Okay, so we're all done. That's it. We've added it. It's a fourth Wi-Fi point. You can see I called it basement back. You can go and relabel those later. I've got a good connection. And then I just want to do a quick uh, connection test to all the Wi-Fi points, which takes a little while. I, I don't know exactly what it's trying to do, but it all comes back pretty good. Actually, better than pretty good. Came back great. So there we go. That's it. That's the whole process. Super easy. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I got this on Amazon. I'll leave a link if you wanna take a look. I should have an affiliate link. You might be able to get them still on Amazon, possibly if you can get them used. Look for a good deal on that as well. Or you can even take a look at the newer models, the Nest, which are similar. They're just a, a newer version. So, all right, again, I'm Landon. This is Landon 27 Tech. Take a minute to subscribe if you didn't already at the beginning and click a like and share this video around. Until the next video, take care. We'll tech to you later. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Tick.